Hey everyone, it's Lindsay. I'm back today with making my own glitter tape. Now I love the look of glitter tape, but I just don't have the storage space for it. So what I like to do is make my own and it's very simple. I just need two supplies. I've got this double sided adhesive. I'm using two different widths today. The first one that I'll be laying down is a quarter of an inch and the next one is an eighth of an inch. These are both from iCraft or ThermoWeb. And the next item you're going to need is glitter. And you can see my glitter up in the right hand corner. I'm using like a grayish blue color that will blend in nicely with my black paper here. And I've also got a very hot pink purple color. Now both of these glitters are from like your dollar bin type of glitters, but I really like how fine they are. And I also like the containers they come in. They're very small. I can store them very easily in my stall, small storage space. Um, but I have linked some other options over on my blog too in the supply list. So if you can't find these particular ones, I have ones that are pretty much identical over there. So what I'm doing is I'm using my ruler and I'm laying both of these types of adhesive down or widths of adhesive down onto a black card base. And this is a little smaller than an A2 card base. It's about four inches by five and a half inches. So slightly smaller. And I'm using my ruler just to go back and forth and lay these down at an angle. I'm just lining up the edge of my ruler with the front part of an adhesive. And then I just use that straight line and put another adhesive down. Now in between each one of these adhesives, I'm going to add some die cutting for extra interest. Now this is from the Lawn Fawn Borders die collection, Stitch Border die collection. And I'm just gonna run that through with my die cutting machine in between each adhesive strip. So this is just going to add a little dot line along my card base um, and it just gives a little bit more interest. Now you want to do this kind of any die cutting or anything before you put your glitter on because once you put it on and you run it through any pressure is going to make some of it cut off especially the pressure that a die cutting machine gives. It's not going to be good for the glitter. So now I'm just going to go ahead and continue to run this through, through each and every um, piece of adhesive that's on there. And you just need to kind of wiggle this around so you don't mess up your card base, but it's easy enough to get through. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm just lifting off the backing paper for one size of adhesive, for one width. And then I'm going to go ahead and just sprinkle on some of this hot pink glitter. I am trying to keep it away from those other pieces of glitter just in case the sides are a little sticky. I don't want it sticking anywhere else other than these adhesive strips. I'm going to go ahead and lay a piece of computer paper right over the top of that and use my bone folder to really burnish this down. Now I'm not really moving it a whole lot just because I want to keep the glitter kind of contained here. And then once I have that burnished down, you can see I've got some stuck to the top of that computer paper. I'm not going to really bother brushing any of this off. I'm just going to fold up that paper and throw it away. It's not enough to really worry about. However, for my bottom where all of that extra glitter is, I'll just go ahead and put that right back onto the bottom piece of paper underneath my card base. And I'm using a soft brush to really get all of that glitter off from anywhere that it's stuck on the card base other than the adhesive. Now because I burnished this down and pushed it into that glitter, the adhesive is really going to hold that in. It's not going to go anywhere. So I can brush over this as hard as I want to and it's not going to move. It's stuck in there. So that's the good thing. But you do want to go ahead and remove any extra little adhesive with that soft brush. I went ahead and funneled that extra glitter back into its compartment. I didn't really worry about brushing every single last little fleck of glitter off of that paper. It's not a whole lot to worry about. So I went ahead and removed the other uh, adhesive backing on the thinner strips of adhesive and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just sprinkling this grayish black blue glitter over the adhesive strips and then I'll lay over an extra sheet of computer paper again and burnish this down the same way I did before. And I'm really focusing on getting it really burnished down into that adhesive so it sticks well. Again, once that's burnished down, I'm just going to lift up this piece of paper. I'm not going to worry about funneling any of that back in. I'll just toss it 
and then I'll use my brush just to get off any of that extra glitter and this also helps get it out if it ends up in any of those little die cut holes this just brushes it right out you do want to make sure that you're using a nice soft brush though if you are using um, a more bristly type of brush or a harder brush you might remove some of that adhesive if you go over it too hard or that glitter if you go over it too hard so just make sure you're using a nice soft brush and that finishes it off I mean that's how easy it is to make your own glitter tape then you don't have to store all those different colors and I know I don't have the storage space for that so I know some of you out there probably don't either now for my sentiment I cut out a scalloped rectangle with some stitching and then I'm using the yes to sprinkles stamp set from two paper divas and I it has a and sentiment in there that says you make ordinary days sparkle which fits this card so well I'm just gonna stamp that right down onto that rectangle with black dye ink and then I'll just pop this up onto that card base with some fun foam and double-sided adhesive now because this glitter tape has so much sparkle on its own you don't need any extra embellishments so this will finish off the card for today I hope you all enjoyed this short little tutorial on making your own glitter tape and I hope you guys like the card and maybe you'll give this technique a try as well. As always, I will leave you with this close up and just a few pictures. For information and the supply list, you can head to my blog, craftingwellcaffeinated.wordpress.com. The link is in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching today, and happy crafting!